Now, how did you first you know, get into acting? I got into acting um, when I was four. Four? Yeah, I'm from New York. Okay. Um, I grew up in Long Island, mm -hmm. and I uh, started doing commercials when I was four. I did Sesame Street, I did like, um, I did a lot of theater in New York, Broadway. Now, now was this something, you know, you're four, so you probably don't remember too closely, but do you remember this something that you wanted to do or something your parents kind of wanted you to do? Um, the story, <laughs> the story I've been told, <laughs> we, well, I was kind of like discovered, you know? Oh. Uh, um, a manager who was looking for kids, like, ran into us, and I guess my parents had been approached before, mm -hmm. and, um, she wanted to audition me, and so I auditioned, and um, she liked me and wanted to hire me. I was the kid who was, this I know, I was the kid who, I got sent to preschool early. Mm. I was really, not hyper, but like precocious. Mm -hmm. So I always needed my mom to read me something. So instead she'd have like, she couldn't, cause she was working, she, she would, had a Fisher Price cassette player, and she'd, um, read stories to me and just give me the cassette so I'd shut up and like <laughs> I always needed I'd go see a movie and I'd have I'd like I'd have to tell my neighbors through the chain link fence like from the beginning to the end of the film <laughs> I was just talking about those neighbors the other day um so I I just I don't know I really liked it and and I kept getting work so it just mm -hmm. it became something that just took on a life of its own and um but my family, my parents, like anybody who knows my parents and my mom in particular, like they're not stage, like they're not stage parents. They're mm -hmm. not like, they were always more worried about, oh my gosh, is she working too much? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should give her, the, she should take the summer off and no more auditions. Like yeah. she should just go to camp. So, so things kind of moved sort of quickly for you. This wasn't something that you were, you know, took years to build up. You know how a lot of actors in Hollywood, you know, they, they spend 10 years trying to just get that one little role. Things just kind of took off for you. Um, the way I remember it, well, things were organic. And then, mm -hmm. it, you know, at the same time, I'm not paying bills. So right. I could, there could have been seven, there could have been a, a year between booking jobs, but it didn't yeah. really, that didn't really matter. I was in school. I was, sure. that hard stuff didn't happen until after I graduated college. Now, <laughs> you were in Eddie Murphy's Raw? Yeah, that's one of the first films I did. Um, there's a beginning segment of the film. With the family. The, with, with the family. With Sam Jackson is in that sequence. You're right, so Samuel Jackson was in um, it. Who else was in it? Oh, God. Who else This was, in was what year? 1980? It's 19... Shoot, 83, 84? 83. 84? No, 86? Oh, I don't Something even know. Something like that. Something like that. Um, Robert Townsend was directing it. Yeah. Keenan Ivory Wayans... Was in it, right. Was, was in it. He was the executive... Um, producer and they called it um yeah it's eddie murphy telling his first dirty joke the, the monkey joke right? the monkey joke right the, and i kicked him in the ding ding <laughs> <laughs> so i mean did you have any idea like how, how big this was going to be when you were doing it i mean because eddie, eddie murphy raw eddie murphy raw was just a monstrous it I was mean, like, the biggest stand-up of all time no something like that i was like little i didn't you're just going with the flow? We're just going with the flow. And then and then what they did for all the kids, because they knew we couldn't see go to see the, the movie. Real film. <laughs> they sent us all tapes. You know, they sent us all tapes of that first part just so we could see, mm -hmm. so we could see what we did. But yeah, I had no idea.